I'm Brianna Matskis. And I'm Tracy Cole. And today is our Sunday box opening. <laughs> Okay, so we're back. So it's Sunday. I know. <laughs> crazy. <Already. laughs> crazy, crazy. I was excited though. So we're actually recording this Friday, but um, so we didn't have to worry about Saturday and I can get it all edited with the kids and everything. But Friday was weird. It's our first Friday without yeah. a box opening. So we weren't strapped back here at 8.30 waiting for you guys to do all your shopping, get it all taken <laughs> care of. So it I got more cleaning done, more things in clearance to check out. Um, we were still kind of on top of orders. Those of you that were kind of shopping throughout the day and through the weekend and pulling those and holding those for you. But um, it's kind of fun. Yeah, it is fun. I, I like the new schedule. I think yeah. it's good. I like it. It's and, nice. And, and everybody can have a better yes. chance, you know. At getting it. Yeah. Levels everybody can see it. Everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. So it's good. And it's also very mm -hmm. healthy for mom. Monday will be her first day back in uh -huh. real life. <laughs> and we're going to put her to work. <laughs> <laughs> Just. It's going to be fun. No more resting. No. It's time to start no. off running. Um, today will be fun. So um, we have lots of really cool stuff. We have something. Sitting on here? We have something really cool from Yishank. Mm -hmm. Um, a box was kind of popped open and mm, it is yummy. I'm not sure what it is, but good it's good. Stuff. Um, we've got Moda and then we're going to go ahead and open the Shannon. Oh, um, good. I ordered that just before mom left. So I'm pretty sure I know what's in it and you guys are going to want to see it. Nice. So we're going to have quite a big, good variety. Oh, good variety. We have a lot of boxes today, mm -hmm. but again, um, I think it's going to be two large collections and Minky, which is always really fun to do. Um, and it'll be really nice being our first real Sunday box opening. Everyone will have a chance for whatever's in the Minky box. Because I know usually <laughs> our Friday morning people wipe out anybody who had to watch after business hours. So yes. that'll be exciting. Okay. Where's All right, it? so I'm gonna, this one might be out of order. I honestly okay. don't know what this E.E. E. Shank box entails. All right, let's find this out. This could be my fall black box. Oh, because we really I was that. just <clears throat> talking to somebody um, the other day. The, oh, any day. So this could be boring. As it is. Yes. Yay. Well, good. But it's needed. We really needed it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and there's other good things in here. Oh, oh, that's Fine. really good. The so we've got 60 millimeter quilter select rotary cutter blades. Um, those we've been out of. And we got 45 millimeter blades. Replacements. And, yeah. And we're out, we've been out of these for quite, not quite a while, but I mean, long enough. So we've long got- enough that we noticed. We noticed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Like, oh shoot. <laughs> so we've got the 45 millimeter replacement blades for your quilter select okay. cutter in the single counts and the five counts. Great. That's great. Cool. Cool. See and then cool. um bolts. These are just all the same bolts. So get a basket. solid black, solid white. We've been out of solid black for mm, I don't know. I think finally someone asked me about solid black. <laughs> I don't know, a couple so, weeks or yeah. a week. I don't know. Time goes by. So, so solid black is back in. Solid white, I think we just polished off the last of the bolt um, just the other day. So that is it it's so good. Yeah, that's fine. This is great. That was good. Super cool. Okay. Um, this little box was, I opened this box because I was pretty sure I knew what it was. Um, this is just the So Steady Polish Kit. So your kit comes with a microfiber cloth and your special polishing goodness. What it does is if you have an acrylic table, an acrylic extension table, what it does is you can clean it. You polish mm. it and as you're machine quilting or piecing, your fabric just goes over the top of your so city table like butter it's amazing nice. um it's really worth trying if you think oh well my you know my so city table is only a year old there's not even scuffs in it you should try the polish you'll be amazed it's nice it's cool. i like the little bottle too the <laughs> bottle's neat it's really a little pretty. apothecary bottle so yeah so we got the polish and we've been out of that since i think christmas oh i think we probably got it in so funny so, okay <laughs> so let's do let's do moda only because those are like right here Great. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. It is Astra. Astra. 
Astra. Astra. From Janet Claire. Oh, Janet Claire. Oh, oh. love it. It's like we have a tad bit left they, of it. Is it the constellation? It's, yeah. It's kind of like That's celestial, so cool. but with celestial things on it. <laughs> Whoa. I'll this just is get cool. it out and you talk about it. You... So Astra is very much um all up stars. Constellations mapping. Oh, wow. This There's even crazy. a UFO on this one. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's cute. All right. We're going to take um, plastic off, <laughs> get things out of here, and then we'll show you up close. Okay. So this is Astra. So you've got the really pretty navy, the denim blue. Well, let me adjust this a little bit more. That You can see that's kind of more of a gray, a taupey gray into cream. Pretty, pretty. There we go. And then let's, um, let me show you up close what we're looking at. Okay. So to start off, so Janet Claire, you might recognize her colors. This is just her really pretty basic color um, and basic texture. So it's kind of like a grungy texture without that whole extra grunge bit. Um, but we have this in her cream. Um, I think that might be it. And uh, it looks like maybe navy after you get there. So this one. And we have this cool texture. It also looks like, you know, a tweed couch or something um, in creams. So a really small texture would almost read solid, but a little bit more moving on than the earlier one. And we've got these little rings. Not sure what's that, but you've got your little vanilla background um, and navy and orange. These she's calling satellites. And this one's that cream background, and you've got the navy, the denim blue, the gray, the taupe, and the orange colors all mixed in this one. Really like this one. It is kind of very gridded, so keep that in mind when you're doing borders or whatever. I still think it would be super cool cut up. It wouldn't even matter to me, but I know some of you out there really like things to stay super straight, so keep that in mind with this one. It is kind of very linear, but love it. These stars, these little shooting star prints, I love these. I think you could really turn this into doing like an Americana quilt if you really wanted to. Now this one, it does have the orange. It's or orange, blue, and taupe instead of the red, but these are tiny little six pointed stars and the little shooting bubbles and blue. And this one's in that cream background. And our constellations in the cream background. And you've got the navy, the blue, the taupe, a little bit of orange. All of her little colors are in there. And there's a tiny little speckle. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but there's tiny little imperfect dots of this gray that's in there. That's really, really pretty. And then I love this one. This is her all over spacey goodness. I love this one. It's got, this one also has, it has little UFOs in it. There's a UFO right there. Where's another one? It's the, oh, there's a little gray one. He's beaming someone up right there. But this one's really cute. A black hole. So I love this one. I I love this. Even for someone who's not spacey or anything. It's just a really cool, really cool piece. All right. And then into the grays, another satellite. This is kind of a marble. I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's some darker bits and some lighter bits of that marble. That same texture as the very first cream we saw. And then it's got cream of those little satellites, things we decided they were. More shooting stars, the gray background, blue shooting bubbles, and then the white six pointed stars. Love it. And it is diagonally printed. So it is super versatile for whatever um, you're gonna put it in. Constellations, this is more of that taupey gray background with just the navy on top and little cream polka dots in there. The all over spacey goodness. Love it. More of the space rings. This is more in that denim blue color. So we've gone to, um, here's kind of the taupey gray. And then here's that first shade of denim blue. This is navy rings with the cream. It shows up a little bit more blue. A little like more blue. Mm -hmm. And it's good. It's Janet Claire. So if yeah. you have anything Janet Claire, she kind of keeps her cream blue and navy collections all in the same color color um, area. 
Um, this is the really cool paint, paint spotter thing. I love it. A lot of designers do this, and I think this is a really, really cool texture. So you've got kind of that denim blue background with um, the dark blue and the navy splotched all over it. And then here is the, do this one, the third color of the darker blue. So you can see you've got the taupey gray, the denim, and the medium blue. And this is the shooting stars. And then you've got the spacey goodness in navy printed on top of the blue. The splatches. And in this really pretty medium blue, you've got the navy and the cream splotches all over it. And then the good old navy. Saddle, and this is the one with the satellite prints. And again, you have the taupe, the gray, the medium blue, the orange. I really, really like this print. I really like that little bit of orange in there. Um, did I already show you this one? Shooting stars. Um, navy with all cream. Cream bubbles, cream stars. But you can see how you could really make a really cool patriotic quilt if you really wanted to. You could probably, if you feel like you didn't want to use the orange stars, just add another color or even that cream color with it and you make a really cute quilt. You've got the navy splotches and you've got the navy with the denim and kind of that gray taupe in your splotch. This is also, the navy is just fan favorite for me. Love this. So you've got every shade of color in her entire collection is in this piece. The orange, the cream, the denim blue, the taupey gray, the navy, it is awesome. Awesome, awesome. And then constellations in navy. And you can really probably really see the little polka dots. So these little polka dots are in or they're probably stars. They're probably not polka dots. Why it took me this long to realize they're stars. Um, but you'll all of these little stars are in all of these constellation pieces. It's just some are easier to see and some aren't. And then lastly, um, her little navy texture again. So that is Astra. Really, really cool. Okay, so while we put these away, um, I'm gonna show you, we do have pre-cuts. So we've got the 10 inch squares, two and a half inch strips. And it looks like we didn't get the whole collection. There's some of these. I think we got the, yeah, we got the low cow. So we have um, 20 pieces of the hand picked collection. So there's a little bit more of it out there, but we got a nice little spattering. So if you see on the jelly roll here, those, oh, let me take the plastic off for you. Um, there really isn't any orange. Um, her main color is cream, taupe, blue, and navy. So you can see all of those extra pieces that we might missing, some extra textures and stuff, but really, really, really nice. So we've got some jelly rolls and we also have um, five inch squares and charm packs. The other Thanks. thing we found at the bottom of the pile um, is her pattern. This is called Milky Way. This quilt is a lap quilt. It's 56 by 72. You need one layer cake. You need two and a half yards of the dark splatter and a yard and a quarter of the medium blue splatter. And then three and a half yards for back. And that's it. Super, super slick. So let me show you, let me show them the splatter. Mathematical equations on here too. Yeah, see that doesn't do anything. <laughs> All right, so the splatters you need You'll need this one. You'll need a yard and a quarter of. This one's um, color number 16. And then here is the dark one that you would need two and a half yards and the color 18. So there's three of these splatters. There's the, this is the navy, the blue, and then the taupey gray. The taupey gray one, she doesn't call for. So just so visually, so you can see if you're shopping for the Milky Way pattern. And then again, one layer cake. Now you had it all amazing. That's okay. <laughs> I it over. So, so really cool. And we have um, one of Janet's collections out there that are blues and creams. What I'm gonna do, there's not very much of it left, but it'd be good coordinate pieces. I'm just gonna put her other collection in with Astra. Um, so you'll know there's a difference because I don't know what it's called, if it's called Blue Boy. 
or whatever, <laughs> you'll see that that's also an asterisk. But if it might like it or if you're working with something, um, you can throw that in there. So I'll combine these two for you so you can see the difference. But I do know whatever her other collection is, there's not a whole lot of large cuts left. Um, and not a whole lot. I know that's really cool. That is, yeah. Yeah. And it's a oh. lot like if you've watched any of the O Tannenbaum series, that's how they sew those backgrounds together. You make this whole, you have this big old strip of dark blue, you create that star block, and then you have a big strip of the medium blue. So it's all really easily pieced together. It's just all about how you create and piece those star blocks together to create that floating effect. So Fun. it's a really, really cool, really cool project. All right. What's okay. Next? Let's do this guy. So this was, woo, this was the box that had my little hole in it. Uh, it's hard not to peek. It's so, oh, oh yeah. We're gonna open this one. Uh -oh. This one I think has the pre-cuts in it because I think that's what I saw. Oh. So we're good. And then we're gonna, then we'll open up the fabric so you can see all the fabric. Oh, it is. Oh, oh, oh it's so that's funny. beautiful. Oh Mom's gosh. gonna wish she saw this. Um, it is called First Light, handpicked by Nicholas Lapp. Wow. So this is the fat quarter packet. It is 18 pieces. And take a look at that beauty. All of these really pretty, bright, springy, happy, sunshine colors. So it is fabulous. Wow. Wow. Love it. Fabric out. See what, what you have. <laughs> so oh fat gosh. quarters, I got some jelly rolls in here. I've got 10 inch squares. Oh, wow, that's really Look how pretty those are. Gorgeous. Oh, colors. May. Oh, look at that one. Love it. Five inch squares. I don't know if I said that. And look, there's an extra white in here. I just smooshed that one. That's not melts. Oh, friction pens. Black friction markers. Yes. We don't care about us. This is an extra white piece. Here's a little tease of what's in the little boxes. Wow. So this is 108, and this collection yeah, is called Hand Picked. So it's 108. Look how pretty that is. Oh, it's like a it's like, wedding bouquet. It is. Looks like carnations. Oh, the carnations. And and oh, and I love daisy. all of these. Gosh, that's gorgeous. Oh, gorgeous. I was just looking through my seed catalog last night, thinking I need to make an hurry up and start doing no, some seeds. No, looking at that. that <laughs> like, yeah, it's a sign. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Okay, so we're going to open up the other boxes that have the regular coordinates, so all of this pretty stuff in it. So we're going to take off the plastic and we'll show you up close. Okay, this is really cool. Um, I don't remember what it was called. Do you remember what it's called? Hand picked. So it's really pretty. So yet again, um, Trace and I are loners. Um, Denise is off this weekend. She's headed towards Salt Lake City to see grandbabies. Mm, so she's, she's going to so have excited. so much fun. Yeah. Um, and then um, Rhonda is home um, helping her sister. Of course, mom is playing hooky. <laughs> so, so I'm going to run behind so you can see it. And Tracy um, will flip it. And she's going to know more about these leaves and flowers. And I'm so, so, but, so wait, it is exciting, though. This makes me think spring. Oh, I am so ready for spring. Okay. And you'll see there are some basics. We'll show you those basics as they coordinate with the pieces. This one's, this is hard. I like, I think I know some of the leaves. It, it seems like a, with all the green, it's hard to tell. Yeah. Like geranium leaf. Um, looks like there could be some hydrangea sort of, but I think they're leaves mostly, maybe hydrangea. Geranium, like a spider plant. Gosh, co coleus. All kinds of, I don't know what this one is. It reminds me of a spider though, but I don't think it's a spider plant. Beautiful. But anyway, so it's, oh, this oh, is really man. pretty. <laughs> they have the happiest little faces on them. I love those. I love to press them and save them for artwork. That is beautiful. Ooh. Oh, love this it. is a mix of, I don't know. And you know, should show them daisies. the... Yeah, that's the coordinate is. sort of. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, and the coordinate. Let me see if I can zoom into that coordinate so they can see. The texture is kind of like a really thin burlapy texture. Yeah. But it's all um, if we're 100% cotton. 
It's really soft and silky and oh, beautiful. beautiful. But some of those other ones are really fun too. They have oh, wow, so like a pincushion flower and daisies and um, lilacs. Gorgeous. What else do we have that looks? This has sort of a purple and oh. did you say pink background? Oh yeah, to let it? me. Yeah, so it's it almost. Kinda... So if you guys know what a shock cotton is, um, it looks like it's, it's pretty. you know two different colors yarn dyed, you know, and turned the one together. We just showed two. I mean, the... oh yeah, that's both really pretty. And here's a Which, really oh, dark that's one. Beautiful. Look how rich that one. Oh, it turns purple Look too. Let me that. see if I can fix the. Oh, it looks really lovely with the um with the pansies. Different it's pansies kind of like a dark and... periwinkle. It comes wow. through really blue, but it's a dark periwinkle. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Whoa. Like golden. What would you call that? Like that's a so pretty. fantastic gold in it. Yeah. Wow. Oh, it's just also me. I love it. Well, you are <laughs> a lucky girl. Oh, my. Oh, so so what do we have? Daffodils. It's hard to just zoom in on one. It looks like some type of bachelor button and um maybe close up of some more lilacs and i'm sure everybody out there has some you can all smell oh, the they're flowers. so lifelike they're gorgeous oh wow that's bright daffodils and violas mm -hmm. and daisies and gorgeous ranunc ranunculus i don't know how to say it but i know what i'm seeing <laughs> <laughs> wow so pretty Oh, look, look at that. One. Look how soft it is. Where's that green? green? Oh, both of those. Wow. Greens and gorgeous yellow. yellow. So they kind of blend into it, don't they? But yeah, all but the in other, a good there's way. so many good, great. Oh, that one's really pretty too. Really pretty. I love the golds in it. So there's a peachy, sherbet colored one there. Oh. Well, this oh, looks it. It like, looks a, like a whole bunch irises of leaves or something. Petals, Petals yeah. yes. Wow. Yeah, show them that so they... one. Me come up here. Oh, look how pretty that is. That's beautiful. These would also make like really cool. Um, this has like really a background, pretty peachy background. Oh yeah. If you were doing just fun pillowcases, if you have oh. a forest in your life, or I mean, you can make you mean, like forest the cat. <laughs> yeah, no. florist. Full on florist. Not florist. <laughs> but it's oh, that so English pretty. Language. Um, All right. Oh, and, and this that's is, like the background. Too. Yeah. So Ooh. this is the same one that is in extra white. So we've got it in forty-two inch white and one hundred and eight. I love this piece so much. Carnation. That's one of my favorite flowers. Oh, oh wow, lovely. Love it. Goodness. All right. Right, that is our hand pick. It is so pretty. so pretty. I love all of it. All right, we're gonna um put these away. But um, so if you're needing inspiration, um, I'm full of it always. <laughs> but, um, I think this would be gorgeous doing um wow. a wood pile. I feel like you have to see these. I feel like you mm -hmm. have to. Love this. I think again, the on the fly, the migrating geese is so easy to make, but you can pick your favorite piece and have this as your main runner through your thing, through your quilt. Oh, oh so, so pretty. Beeline for baby, always a good, you'll have these big prints and these fabulous coordinates to go with it. Um, They're I don't even know. It is so pretty. So pretty. Love it, love it, love it. All right, we're going to get these all wrapped up and then we will move on to Minky. Oh, Minky. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know which one is my favorite. They really are. Quite beautiful.
there are one, two, three, four, five boxes of Minky. Wow. Um, so what we did before mom left, I ordered a whole bunch of the two yard cuddle cuts. Cause we were just out of the normal colors, you know, red, black, purple, blue, you know, the basic mm -hmm. colors. That's all I was going to order. And then I found out they had new colors. So, so, so sorry, but um, you will see some repeat colors and a whole lot of new ones. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just, sorry, sorry, sorry. But there's a whole lot of new ones in here that no one's seen. I don't even okay. mom knew what I ordered <laughs> when oh. she's away. Okay, so here is a repeat. So our little pony, who is this called? So, oh, pony Ivory. Pony Ivory. So again, our perfect little cowhide pinto horse. Got some of those. Um, Arc Link Taupe. Arctic. Bug. Arc. Arctic Link. Arc. I bet Arctic it Link Taupe. And Taupe. Love yeah. it. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Wild Rabbit in nine iron. This one's really, really pretty. I'm gonna take my lips cool. I'm gonna take All one of each of these colors. Okay. Just one. Or, I know I mean, it's. You want the pony out? Um, I think they know what the pony the is, pony, we know but the let's pony. take the Arctic Fox and I and Taupe out, but then they can see it without the glare. So this is the Wild Rabbit in um, nine iron, really really pretty. It's one of the Lux ones, so it's super fuzzy and lovable. The Arctic Fox and Taupe again. This is the one that looks like um, a fawn, baby deer. Love it. Sorbet blue. Ooh, sorbet blue. Carolyn, oh she's not looking at me. This, oh, is, uh, this is cute. So this is like a perfect tie-dyed blueberry yumminess. Is this one new? Bessie? This one's new, Betsy. Betsy, the cow. She's the cow. So Where milk so comes cute. from. <laughs> I'm still trying to convince my kids milk comes from a cow. Not sure why we have to convince them. We're gonna have to go to the dairy this spring. Yeah. So, <laughs> so love it. Fun. So black and white. So my little dairy farmers out there. That's um, it. All right, that's, that's that really box. Stuff. Okay, I'm gonna smush these back in here. Yes. And oh, we've got multiples in every color. I'm just that's gonna show cute. you what I've got. So really so far, fun. I don't know sorbet blue. You might have seen it before. Bessie though, I know I she's love new. Bessie, she's I know. adorable. She's she new for sure. Um, this one is a repeat. This is just the hide texture in chocolate brown. Pretty. It's love really it. Really rich. Looking. Beautiful. I've got this one. I'm going to cuddle up. <laughs> no pun intended on the cuddle, Shannon, but it does make you feel And again, these are two cozy. yard cuts. So you've got um, 72 inches by 60 inches. Oh, there's my packing mm -hmm. slip. Perfect. Uh, oh, is that a cute? Ooh. So this is, oh, this is the Read to Me Barnyard. We've had this one before. I'm gonna open this one up. Yeah. But we just recently ran out and we had I think a couple emails asking about it. But here is the kind of the pattern for it. Mm. So in the little read to me mm. cuddle kit, um, you've got enough to make the blanket and the book um, for it. And you have the back and everything. What's the backing? It look, I mean, the backing, really it looks like the wild soft. rabbit. Is what it looks like it's in beautiful. more of a lighter brown. So definitely you what? could- it is wild rabbit. Oh, there you go. Good job. There you go. So this is the Read to Me Barnyard. That is cute. Super, super cute. So we've got more of those. This is Fawn Silver. I think we've had this one before. Look, I tell you all these new ones. They're coming, I promise. Fawn Silver. Yeah, but they're so pretty even if they've been here before. They And you just don't know. Maybe you wrong. missed out and <laughs> you need um Leopard I in just, Sand. She's I love new. That. She's new. Love it. And a two yard cut. Um, a glacier teal. Again, mm. I think we had this the last go around. So, again, not probably a new one, but. Oh, yeah. Maybe new to I think you. it came in around the same time to Kelly Ray Roberts. Yes. Yes, I thought. Oh, yeah, because this goes perfect yeah. with Kelly Ray Roberts. The soul shine and daydream. Pretty. And then also in here, hiding out, mm. is this is navy, just flat, silky, minky, 60 inches mm. wide by the yard. So if you want more than two yards, or you just want this one in two yards, you can get that too. That's great. So this one's by the yard. Okay. That's box Close. number two. I'm gonna, gonna stack throw on top. Wanna stack on top? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. 
All right. This one. This one um had a rough go, but it made it in the world of shipping. And um, Shannon Fabrics, we ordered this. They're just in California, but you know. Sometimes the oh. Is that new? Yes! Wow, that looks like it would be this so good. This one is unicorns or Sorbet something. Mermaid. Oh, a mermaid. I love it. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That's cute. I don't know if you can see it really good in the camera, but it's aqua and purples. That is so pretty. Oh, it is mermaid, ladies. Love oh, it. Love it. Love it. Love it. So, mermaid. Oh, that's pretty. Have this, we had purple like that before? I don't know if we've had. Oh, I don't really have it. Let's this one is hide in violet. Mm, there, could Beautiful. that go with some of <gasps> this our? This would go with our florals. Our, new florals, our yeah. hand picked. Oh yeah, it would. Oh boy, love it. I'm loving that idea. And then good old trusty white in hide. Oh, it's called natural, not white. Um, natural in hide. So same really fun that kind of texture. Is, oh, so soft. Nice. Love it. That one. I'm gonna put our chocolates in here. Just Ooh, that box. I know this one got gouged by a book. Somebody else was peeking <laughs> in there. <laughs> I don't know. You guys can see. This is some weird stuff. stuff. You see my little little smiley face <laughs> cut out of there? I don't know. It's like a forklift accident. I don't know. <laughs> but luckily, Shannon wraps everything in plastic. So I'm not worried about any oh. naughtiness. More loveliness. Good stuff. So navy in hide. So just the same color as that bolt, mm -hmm. but instead of being flat, it's got that really cool texture to it. Gorgeous. Um, this one is sea glass. Is I don't know. Glass? I don't know if we've had it in a two yard cup before, but it is the same sea glass that used to be in the infinity scarves. Mm. So if you got a sea glass infinity scarf, this is the sea glass. I know I love Kelly Ray Roberts, but I think that would work with it too. That would too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Luna black. Nice. So this one's a little bit shinier than the Hyde black. Pretty, pretty. Two yard pretty cut. Pretty. Um, Merlot, this is That's a new color. Beautiful. Oh, wow. This is a new one. Merlot. So, more of Gorgeous. that, good, you know, just like Merlot, it's not that cardinal bright Christmas red. It's that deeper, really pretty, rich red. Mm -hmm. And then Hide in Rose Water. I think we had this one before, too. That looks familiar. Really nice, plush pink. This would also look good with the hand pick stuff we got. Love it. Um, the navy, though, too. The navy would go with our Janet um, Claire stuff. Oh, yeah. Astra. Absolutely. Or this Hyde charcoal. That's nice. Love it. Good, good medium gray. And then the snowy oh, wow. owl in natural. Um, I think the very <laughs> first four orders bought this. So anybody who missed the last Fabric Friday that, that we saw this. really sweet. It is so cool. And it so is like a winter owl. I love this. You love owls. I know. <laughs> so there's my sucker problem. That's okay. But it is gorgeous. All I right, we got that. one more. Only one more. One more box. Oh, this it's this one. Got you need to give you a hand. I know. Get it there, but the space is. It's, I know. This is spatial. I don't know where we're going to put all this. I okay. think. I'll be putting it in boxes. I think, you so I think it'll it. be your problem. Oh, this looks really beautiful. <laughs> and we'll send it right back to the post office. There you go. Oh, oh that's pretty. Love this. Oh, these Look are all new colors in this box. Is that the mermaid or is oh, that, that might be another unicorn? one. <laughs> I think it looked like a unicorn. This is a unicorn. It is a unicorn. I, okay, cool. Is there a mermaid? Let's grab this the mermaid. This is mermaid. It's more So this is purple. unicorn. This has got the pink, the purple, and a little bit of aqua. And the mermaid, the mermaid is the color of the sea. So you got pink and purples, There's, aqua and purple. I love these. Oh, unicorn. So I might not have got enough of these. I think we just can't show Harper. More. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't show Harper Don't yet. Don't show Harper. Um, this one is red fox and amber. We might have this that one. Looks like and, or I have this one, the bolt. I'm not sure. Love this. And it's got this really pretty rusty colors in it. And yeah. black. It's a really good man color. Um, let's see. This one I recognize. 
Paloma Rose Water. I think we've had this one before. This one is like has That's like frosted nice. tips, so it's that really pretty um, rosy one. Now they're yeah. all blushing together, but so it's that really same pretty box. rosy one with a white frosted tips on this one. Is she in that one? No, I think she was oh, in man. here. Oh, it's right here. Oh. I got it. Yeah. What is this one called? This, oh, it's called rose water. It was rose water. Oh, so yeah. yeah so rose water is here this in my left ripply. hand. Yeah, this is ripply and has like white frosted bits in it. It's pretty. Almost more texture too. Yeah. The, really, really pretty. Really lovely. Yeah. Sweet. Um, this one, oh, Carolyn loves this too. That's pretty. If I can find what it's called. Galaxy in color mo uh, mallard. Galaxy is really cool. It is like a fun tie-dye in there. It's the um, that mallard green, some dark aqua, some teal, some forest green. This one's gorgeous. It is really pretty. I love that little bit right there. Love it, love it. Um, evergreen, a good Christmas green. That's that's nice. That has a yes. good really, really pretty. Like that too. Um, who else we got in here? Silver, silver hide, a nice light gray. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, beautiful. And lastly, that. who is this? This is snowy owl and alloy. So oh. this must be a lighter version. Of, yeah. Of I don't know where it went. <laughs> it flew <laughs> off. <laughs> Oh, I just might thought. be in the box underneath here. Didn't I just have it? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Isn't that nope. it right there? Uh-uh. That's fawn. Let's see. Fawn and silver. Oh, well, shucks. I guess it's probably in my box. It's in my box. <laughs> <laughs> of course it is. So does. this one. <laughs> Oh, let me look at what it was called. This one's natural. So here's the natural one we already saw. And this is the owl and alloy. So you've got, you can totally see that you've got more creamy beige whites in this one. And then the alloy's got lots of grays and blacks in it. Oh, cool. Oh, so cool. Pretty. So that is minky. So lots and lots of the two yard cuts. Um, I bet half of it is the new colors, mm -hmm. um, which are really cool. They're really cool. I love. And yeah. I really love the unicorn and the mermaid. Those are yeah, really and they're re. Fun. They are kind of just reselecting what their two yard cuts are. So we might see some that we're not going to see again. Mm. Um, I'm surprised we see the pony so often, but some of the it's ones really I tried cute. to reorder. Um, we're not in stock, but they had so many new ones. So, and when I was talking to the gal ordering it, she said they're coming out with new, more new two yard cuts because they are so popular. A lot of shops carry the two yard cuts now because they're more convenient to carry this than a big old Herc and Bolt. So it's pretty cool. I'm excited to see because I love that they're doing like the galaxy prints in two yard cuts because that's Carolyn's favorite. Is it? it uh, yeah, anything Galaxy collection from Northcutt is her favorite. I like I the it. animal print ones. The They call them the luxury yeah. ones, of course. Well, High maintenance, expensive, <laughs> that's me. Um, so oh, I really like all of the animal prints. The fox one, the, the owl ones, the wild rabbit. It's all really cool. So it's fun. Okay. Oh my gosh. I don't know. Um, I apologize to your pocketbook because um, <laughs> Astro is super, super cool. Um, Wyatt has a new nightlight that has the little space thing on his ceiling. Oh, he thinks it's so cool. So he might it's have a, a space one in his future. Um, mm. And I've been wanting a reason to buy those little glue-on wall stick them oh. star glow on the dark things. Mm -hmm. We used to have them as kids and I just saw it last weekend or a couple weeks ago at Hooked on Toys. You Where's still Hooked can buy toys? Imanachi. Oh, cool. it's it's actually like a sporting goods store, but they have everything. That's any fine. puzzle, any water that. toy. But I didn't know they still made them until I saw them. So I need a good reason to That's make a it good spacey. Reason. I love that. Yeah, and then hand picked beautiful florals. Mm, oh. Those are so that's gonna be hard pretty. to know what to do with, and how to cut it. If it's just something that you love, 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 and you might not have an idea for it, I would say get two yards. Mm -hmm. So if you do find that perfect pattern, you'll have enough of that to be your focus piece or a border. Um, 
my gosh. It's, really, uh, it's, it's so really pretty. pretty. Watch and the end. Of minky to be in the back. Love it. Yeah. So you guys can finish up some of those quilts, or if you're gearing up for a graduation gift, or birthdays, or you're ahead of the game for Christmas. Mm -hmm. Good for you. Good time to start. All right. Never too early. I know. Right. So we will see you again Wednesday morning. Mom's home, so Yay. can't wait Monday to hear all morning. of that. I know, she'll be here Monday morning. They won't see her until Wednesday, but. Well, that's true. That's she'll true. pack your orders. I'm sure she'll be signing all of your love notes. So, yes. all right. Have a fabulous rest of your weekend, and we'll catch up with you next week. See you next week. Bye. <laughs> so, as I was cleaning up, I stumbled across a E.E. E. Shank box. So, I went ahead and opened it, thinking it was just some basic refill notions. But, there's some pretty cool things in it, so I thought you should see them. Um, the soft and stable interfacing that we talked about Wednesday night, me and Barbara did, for the By Annie projects. That is in. Um, we have it in 18 by 58 in the white, soft and stable, and we also have it in the black, soft and stable. So if you are using dark colors, the black is really nice because you can't see anything through it. If you're gonna be using the hand-picked florals to make a really cool By Annie bag, you'll probably want the white so you don't have any kind of discoloration. So that came in. Um, from Quilters Select, we got some rulers in. Um, we got the two and a half by 12 inch ruler. We've got six by 12 back in stock. These were on our back order for quite some time. Um, so those two sizes. And then we also had hiding in there the 45 millimeter rotary cutter blade from Quilters Select and a few more of the replacement blades. Um, and then the best thing was this. I had not seen these before. So, you know the little Mr. Bottles? We have them. I ordered them again in white and black. I think we were down to like one white one left. So I ordered those in. Um, a lot of people will have two. They'll have a colored one and a basic one because one might just have water in it and my, one might have your starch. So best press or whatever you might use. So they know the difference depending on what they're doing or how they're doing it. But this one. Hopefully I grabbed the right box. These. Oh, I didn't have box. Hold on. Can I find the other box? Okay. So these were just your good old plain Jane white bottles. I also got the black ones. Again, you just um, screw off the top and put in your product. I also got... I might as well <laughs> show you this. Tracy loves shipping these, so we don't order them very often. <laughs> They're the funnels. They're just weird when they go by themselves. <laughs> yeah, yeah I don't, we don't know how to get them to you, but we've never oh, delivered one broken, but um, it comes with this cool little handle. I have to say, I don't know if we can make sure this handle makes it in one piece, but if you want to hang it, you can hang it. But what's really cool about the funnel is it attaches right to your, um, your bottle. So you can just pour in your best press, pour in your water, remove your funnel, hang it up, put it in the drawer, whatever, without having to worry about all of your stuff going everywhere but in the bottle. So the funnel's really cool. It has this special little lid, so it'll just snap right on. Those are perfect. Super cool. Are the funnels, I think they're like four bucks. So they're more than your just basic funnel, but she's not just a basic funnel. No. So, so that, and then your Mr. Bottle, you know, fill it up, put your doodad in, and it just, Oh, it has a little moisture in it still. It just mists. And all of them might come with a little bit of moisture in because of condensation. Yeah. So as it's being boxed, shipped through hot, cold, you're always going to have a little bit of condensation, but that's all it is. There's no smell. There's nothing in there. So feel free to rinse it out before you put your goodness in it. But all of them probably will have a tad bit of condensation. Okay, so plain jean white, plain jean black. Or these ones, they have the little quilt there. So this one says Iron Maiden on it. <laughs> She's standing on her ironing board, crazy hair. The little kitty cat watching her like, Mom, what are you doing? So there's that one. There is, this one says, friends don't let friends go to the quilt shop alone. So you've got the fabric on top of the car strapped down and all the friends. Love it. So cute. Um, Iron Maiden, that one. Is there another one? Let's see, let me thumb through that. Ooh, yes. Nothing like a little color therapy to brighten the day. So you've got her looking all at her fabulous quilt shop finds. 
and more of a pinky background. So they're really fun. So this one has a really cool skin on it. And I'm sure if you have like a Cricut or any of those cool things or someone in your life good, they could probably make it really cool for you. But so those three, so my guess is I have four of each styles. I have four of the Color Therapy, four of the Quilt Shop, and four of the Iron Maiden. So I thought you needed to see these. Bye. Thank you for watching our video. We invite you to leave a comment, hit the like button, or better yet, subscribe to our channel so you never miss an episode. You can also visit our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Pinterest pages, or find all of those things and our online store at fabricpatch.net.